Hello, my name is uh, Aravin. I'm originally from um, Kuala Lumpur. By background, I am a mechanical engineer. Um, I completed my Bachelor's of en Mechanical Engineering in, in, the in, in England, in the Nottingham Trent University in the UK. Finished my PhD also in the same university. Then uh, came back to Kuala Lumpur, started working as a design engineer. I was doing a lot of uh, design work uh, for consultancies and stuff. And that. There's always this passion in me that uh, to train people, to teach people and so on. And then moved uh, to Perth in 2015. Uh, then after that, after some time, joined Curtin College in uh, 2018. Ever since that, I've been teaching uh, a few units. Uh, one of the main unit uh, is engineering mechanics. And also I'm also teaching another unit, which is called resources processes engineering, materials engineering. Uh, both of these units are Curtin University units that we are actually conducting here in Curtin College as a stage two unit. What I am teaching, I can put in a lot of my industrial experience into a unit like this. So I always will tell them whenever, as an, as an engineer, okay, if you are doing this in the industry, how you go about doing it. Now the thing with this unit, their students are doing the same thing that a student in Curtin University will be doing. So the exposure in sense of the unit, uh, the labs, everything is the same. So that gives uh, Curtin College students a bit of advantage. The moment they go into Curtin University, they choose whether they want to go into mechanical engineering, civil, chemical, and so on. Now in Curtin College, students' support comes in many ways. Each individual unit will have a unit coordinator, and the unit coordinator would be the first point of contact for a student to come and say, I need help in this unit, please help me. If it's not the unit coordinator, the next support comes from the, uh, from the team. So for example, if I'm teaching engineering, we've got the engineering team helping out. So uh, the engineering team will help out uh, with regards, again, academically. Obviously, unit coordinator is one, and then we got the team, engineering team, they're helping out. Students themselves have got what we call as uh, student peer. Okay, those who have done this unit before. So a student who's doing the unit at the moment, they can obviously identify those names, email them and saying, I'm doing engineering mechanics. You, this, you did this uh, unit in the last trimester. Can you help me out on that? So that is the academic part. The non-academic part, obviously, we've got the student services that looks into that. Uh, we've got the student kiosk, I believe. There's another one where they, can, where they can get support. The memorable part is always uh, you teaching students that requires a bit more additional support. So these are the students that, uh, now the moment you give them the required support, guide them through, put your effort in, went through all the hardship of getting uh, through each individual unit. Some failed the unit and then have to repeat that a few times. And eventually on the fourth year, they, they graduate. You know, you have kind of contributed uh, for a student's development for four years and the moment they graduate, that's, as a lecturer, when you sit there, when they're graduating, that's, always, that's obviously a highlight. 